and welcome to right i've had enough of this last time he took my <laughs> he took my line so anyway hello and welcome to hating tv <laughs> what's that about this is a little bit different isn't it it's monday morning things are going to change around here justin camera's not that far away though because you've got a little while don't care t-rex arms <laughs> right we've cut block two uh i didn't do any video yesterday because i just wanted to relax and mow it's not what you said when you phoned me up did i yeah what did i tell you okay yeah, sod youtubers that's what you said sod the youtube sod the people who watch us <laughs> you said i don't remember talking to you on the phone yeah you did <laughs> so we've cut block two that's all down uh, at farm three. I know that doesn't make sense, but like, it's the second block we cut this year. You're about to prep and get a tether going. Yeah, once I move stuff out of the way, because people put stuff in the way of stuff, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, to the left here. Look. Why are you panning that way? I said to my left. Not, not pan to your left. <coughs> we're we're going to play a game later. Don't do games. We're going to play a game of uh, Adam and John said they were both happy to. Uh, all do a mower each and we have a race no like i changing, didn't changing that, all the blades that was you no no like that was a good idea and no. i said i'd buy you coca-colas in a glass bottle and you agreed no i didn't there was no agreement to this yes, you did no i didn't you so did no i didn't I so did we're really looking excited to this excited about this later on no there's not part of me and john's not here anyway so oh good he looks like you get to do two and i do one not a chance <laughs> fortunately i did it on the weekend oh you won Yay, Dustin won. <laughs> so, we did have a discussion about it last week. and uh, there, he... was no dis there was no discussion. There was. There wasn't a discussion. The you were saying. Friday. I said it'd be I... a really good idea. Yeah, you discussed it. There was no discussion from me. You agreed on Coca-Cola. No, I did not agree. You did. I didn't. Well, anyway, beer. you've done it now. You've done it. So, done it anyway, oh, I feel so gutted. I lost. <laughs> Cows are now grazing block one or cleaning up all the edges. So, that's that's going on. Uh, in a bit, we'll start taking you guys around what we'll do. Yeah. First, gonna have breakfast and a cup of tea. Most important thing of the day. What, a cup of tea or the breakfast? A cup of tea. He's, then breakfast. He's addicted. He's not gonna have it. Yeah. He can't, he needs a hit every day. Like gotta, three have a, times. gotta have a cup of tea. Come rain or shine, gotta have a cup of tea. If I don't have a cup of tea, I'll be miserable all day, and that's me done for the day, to be honest. Huh. But anyway, let's get, put them, let's put some tatters on. there. Monday morning. Monday morning. I don't care. Monday morning. Let's go. I've got very heavy crops this year. I don't know if you can see here, the drone is fixed. So Adam is recording as we speak. So 
I said about grass standing up still when it comes to coming out of the back of a non-conditional mower. And this is what I mean. So the grass is still like this and not lied dead flat. So it's not up as extreme as that, but it's it's up up woods. And there's loads of it. The blocks we're going through at the moment, I'm having to cut about six and a half K because it's that heavy. And it's not six and a half, seven K because the mower bed can't cut it. It's because, especially on the front, I'm, I'm having it sometimes collect up on the front mower. So it just gives it that little bit more time to clear itself. But generally there's a bloody lot of grass here. For a bump a year, this ain't bad. So we are decking lots. Fingers crossed the weather forecast. It, it doesn't make its mind up, but like hopefully it just sort of maybe gracefully gives us the week. And that would be most, most appreciated. But we have a banging grass down all over the place. Down farm three, which is that way, behind you guys right now. That's fairly heavy. Well, as heavy as up here, to be honest. But apart from one 10 acre field, that's a little bit, a little bit less. But there is going to be some serious amount of bales, which is good. We can fill up sheds and stacks. Awesome. <sighs> Picturesque uh, big boss man of tedding. So that is going on down at the other block. Get some of the worst of this off. Just going to pop my radiators out and give them a. It's actually not looking too bad, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, turn around the circle all the time. What's this cool? Lovely little concertina effect in JCB. Not that bad, but. It's better to do it now than go out and have, get all bunged up on me. Fortunately, we're ahead of things. Is clip all this back in. Oh, I'm lost in properly. It's not easy one up. So we're ahead of things, as in the grass hasn't got too old, meaning there isn't so much dust, seed, and crap going everywhere yet. Everything's still young enough that it's not blocking the radiators up completely which is what usually happens we've been cutting away we've got block two block three all on the ground and there's a problem greenhorn rich just sent me some pics of a fire which is the other side of the hedge of one of our fields so being that we're drawing it to hay i'm going to have a look and see what the hell's going on I'm just on the sheer facts of whether I need to get a telehandler if everything's going to get really, well, if everything's going to go the wrong way, really. It's down there. Let's go have a look. Thankfully, thankfully, it is, seems to be on the main road and hopefully stayed on the main road. She is a going. So fortunately, it's on the far side of the road. Fuel tanker going up in smoke. I'll see if I can get a better look. There we go. Evelyn Corn Firefighters got it under control. Fortunately, it is the other side of the main road and not our side, because else I could catch the bank and then fly up over Hayfield. My name's John. Test out my call mode. First things first, air con. Absolutely brilliant. Air con is lovely and it is plenty hot right now. 
because some aircons and some tractors seem to, throughout the day, you end up just getting hot in there. Sometimes that can be gas and sometimes just not so good aircon. But let's go telly. It's quite nice. Not wandering around, it's a big hit. So, this McCormick is 180, 180, 180 fire horsepower in a sensible size chassis, not oversized. So it is quite a nimble six in the tractor. Suspension. Suspension is working well. This is quite a bumpy track that I put in. Now, the fact that I can hold the camera square in my hand and you can watch the suspension there is pretty, pretty on point. So, Headland, Headland is, Headland's going to move it. Cab relatively quiet. Again, high performance on aircon. Yeah, aircon is really cool. Lock, phenomenal amount of lock. Brilliant amount of lock. Just straight my wheels in a minute. So we are blowing some grass around now. Very heavy crops down here. So, McCormick, sorry for wobbling around. Negative, there is no bits of metal flat plate anywhere in the cab for me to mount the camera. So I managed to slide it in the air vent up here without damaging a thing. So that's what I've got to work with. So that's what I'm working with on this. Steering wheel, lovely and comfy. Everything's set out, very comfortable little joystick panel here. So on the intricacies of this tractor, Adam and I are going to do a walk around, which will be in the next video, which will be like a bonus video that we'll just throw up. Um, and it'll just be a look around the tractor. Uh, so everything now is going to be a bit more descriptive of how it's operating. But currently, plowing through this, technically not plowing, technically heading our way through this. Very, very smooth steering. Loads grunt. The similar RSD just feels, but it's got rises and pulls. But she isn't cuffing or anything on this. I tend to pick my tether up at the ends most of the time. There's no real why and why to it, not do it. We all do things differently. It's just the way I like to do it. Something I'm getting used to is once you set the tractor up, it likes to operate up and down the back on joystick and not so much over on the side of the armrest on the wheel. That's just to set it and then up and down is on the auto switch on the control, which for some reason, maybe me, I just want to go to the wheel. And it doesn't look like that at the moment, unless I go to the wrong. It's got a lovely sunroof in here. Quite nice to have the sunroof. Now, a lot of this tractor, now some, I don't know, I don't know whether this is going to sound wrong in the wrong way or right, but we used to have an MX110, and this feels so comfortably similar, I can't quite like give that credit enough. So that's like a, a very, very big compliment. So we used to love our old MXs and the general feel and drive is very, very similar. Gear change, very, very similar. Gear stick, different, fine. Take, uh, different gear used to. Big screen down below with everything set up on it. But it has got that MX feel, which I really like. But not as long. So the, the bonnet just isn't as long. Now I'll get an hangover. 
because because we're pretty full on at the moment, I haven't had enough time to actually throw myself in and have a practice to track the four. So I've just thrown myself out here and see see what happens. But no, she is a pokey bit of kid on the road, very quick in the field, loving it. It's a comfortable, it is a very comfortable cow. Very comfortable cow. There's plenty of space, loads of floor space. There is a there is a dog down here, as you can see. There it is. So loads of space for all of you that like carry canines with you like I do. A slight a slight dislike from me is McCormick, you have got different buttons to unlock everything. So you've got a switch to unlock your PTO, and a switch to unlock your spools, and a switch to unlock your uh, rear links. Personally, that's a little bit complicated, but I can see the safety reasons for it as well. Evidently, if you've got kids and you can leave the track for five seconds, you can lock everything off, and everything should still be there. So I totally see the safety point of it. This one's got black rims, as you might have seen in our other videos. And the black rims, all tractors should have black rims. That's good with black rims. You've already driven this, haven't you? Yeah. He's appeared, the man of the legend. Hello. So what do you think about it? Well, I've already sort of said my sort of bit inside oh, right. camera. So you you talk about what you think, and then I'll either concur or add things to what you've, you're saying. The main thing, the tractor. Yeah. Six cylinder. Yeah. Short nose. Yes. That is a massive plus for me. Yeah. Mass loads of lock. Something we used to like on two other tractors, not going to name their names right in a second, but you'd have two other tractors with short noses. I don't know why tractors need to have these massive great long nose oh. at the moment, but apparently it's a fashion thing. But yeah, short nose, nose manoeuvrally. And you know, she I know you've probably talked about the complex side to her. Yeah, it's a bit over yeah, complex. Yeah, I agree with you on that. But gearbox why she's easy to drive, isn't she? Yeah, yeah. Works like, as I said earlier, it's like an MA. Yeah, it is. She is a nice truck and she's comfortable. What power is it again? I said 180. 180. It is 180. I'm not sure if it's like 180, 185, but yeah, it is 180. 180. No, she's um, she's no, she's a, she's not a light truck. I think she weighs about eight ton. Gets on, but she's so manoeuvrable. And she, she yeah. Can't she? Okay, so the suspension that you use, uh, we don't actually know the name of it off our heads right now, but it works very well, doesn't it? Yeah, it makes all the difference. It's not just your normal beam axle yeah. with like a, a suspension ram. Yeah. It's actually a proper suspension, which makes a massive difference on a conventional tractor, in my opinion, anyway. Yeah. Right. There's not a lot of moving around in here. There is no. right now because we're going over some ruts. But, the, the dunker, right? but with other makes as well, yeah. if you notice the cab doesn't sway as much. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. makes a difference. You know, nice seat. She's a nice cab to be in, I think, personally. Yeah, it's a comfy little cab. Yeah. So, for the spec tractor it is. Seat, spare seat. Main seat, main seat's comfy. Not, I, I do like the seat. I must admit, I do like it. But, there's nowhere to hold on. Like a grab handle. Yeah, most... Don't, don't get me wrong, it's not the end of the world, because the majority of the time you're not going to have only one in there anyway. Yeah. But when you are, it's nice to hold on to something. Yeah. Most usually have something, as you say, there yeah. or there. Yeah, anywhere. Generally. So that's, that's something we would like, but obviously doesn't really have any effect no. on the workings of the tractor. Well, no, exactly that. It's very rare, like someone with you anyway. Yeah. On another note, hay's drying, hay's drying very quickly, isn't it? Yeah. It was a lot better than it did yesterday. Well, you're panicking this. No, no. It's really green. So we're hopefully making the most of this and getting a lot of hay done. Sure.
changing. It is drying rapidly. Definitely not hay yet. We are definitely falling and not floating. There is loads of grass and there's also, I don't know if you're probably picking it up on the mic, there's quite a breeze, quite a, quite a draft of air coming through as well. So all this getting lifted now late evening, it's gonna have wind pulling moisture out of it as well. But this field is absolutely full of grass. Mind you, all these fields are full of grass. There is loads of it. So that is a good thing massively good thing and the McCormick is cruising on to stop the fold up I think I think fold up delay Greenhorn Rich is in the trailer oh there we go the fold is happening walking through tedded grass which right here is just below my knee to the grass there see like it. It's almost like there's not enough space in the field for it all lie down as it is. Footage from Adam. Uh, there is a stack of today, which is a load of uh, haydage that we've wrapped up, stacked up, and done. So that's block two completely finished. Uh, tomorrow we're going to get on block, block three, and I'll do a bit more videoing of stuff going on because I don't have to wrap your bales and they're going straight to a barn. Being a bit conscious on time on this video, and still being this week, and we've got quite a bit to do. I'm going to end this video here being a part one and start another video in a second which will be up tomorrow as part two so thank you very much for watching if you haven't yet done so please hit the subscribe give a thumbs up most appreciate uh if you want to find more of us you can find us on instagram facebook snapchat and twitter i'll see you in the next video bye